everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks, the, the RC sub guy, and we are going to begin the odyssey of the construction of this beautiful Submarine Works 196 scale U.S. Ohio class uh, ballistic missile submarine. This is a gorgeous kit, and I did uh, a video review of it earlier. Certainly search my channel, take a look, and you will see the information on that earlier. We're going to get started here. This first video is really going to outline um, the strategy behind the build, uh, some constraints that we have according to the customer wants, and then we'll get into planning out our cuts and how we're going to go about assembling it. So let's get started. We'll take a look at what we've got to work with. So one of the first things that you're going to notice about this boat is that it is huge. Uh, it's almost six feet long, just a little bit uh, under that, uh, but not by much. Now, when you start talking about boats of this size, you run into issues with logistics, um, not only for transportation, but for storage as well. So one of the asks that the customer had of me was that the boat be easy to transport and store. Now, in the past, you'll have seen that I utilized uh, the Pelican cases, the hard plastic cases with the custom cut insert foam. And we're going to be doing that with this particular build as well. I found a case. It's got 53 inches of interior length to work with. So that is the constraint that we have for the build. It needs to come apart in such a manner that it will fit inside a 53 inch long case. So we need to do some math. Six foot long boat. Uh, into a 53 inch long case. Let's take a look at my plan thus far and we'll see what you think. So the hull of this boat comes in three amazingly high quality pieces. Uh, this is an epoxy layup, nice and light. We have lower hull, we have our upper hull, and we've got our missile deck. The missile deck is about 43 inches long, so check on that fitting. The hull itself, um, like I told you, is just under six feet. So we need to start uh, getting creative here. So typically when you do an RC submarine cut for access to the interior, you perform what is called a Z cut. Uh, and it looks like this. It would come up underneath the bow, along the split, and then up on the upper hull like a Z. Now you can see we've got some nice convenient lines in here and if you are building this boat and do not need to worry about fitting into a case you can use this because it'll give you easy access to all of your rear control linkages back here once these pieces are adhered together. The challenge is if I were to cut it here the entire model would only be let's say um, 68 inches long so it is not going to fit. So I measured things out and I want to do things about 52 inches and that puts the seam right about here and uh, conveniently it happens to line up with the beginning of the toad sonar array um, and the missile deck will cover the upper part of the seam leaving only about two inches of exposed seam in the back. Check! So our front section would be about 51 and a half inches long um, and then if we move to the front here, doing the split right here will give us roughly equal length of lower hull as well. Now the challenge is we've got a huge um, area that would all be enclosed like a tube once you adhere the upper and lower hulls together. So the solution to that, and we'll go back to the rear here, is to make actually three sections. So again, this is my strategy thus far. It may change, but it seems pretty sound. Um, we will do a cut here for easy access to the rear control linkages. This section will be separate and removable. And the final cut will be right here where the upper hull mates to this lower hull assembly. So that'll give us full access to the rear control linkages. Um, this will basically be an open area in the back with the control rods running through it. And then going into the front, we're going to do the same thing as well. I'll probably make a cut right about here 
this section will be removable which will give us access to the sail linkages. The uh, Ohio utilizes sail planes uh, in the conning tower so we're going to need to have access to the linkages for that as well. And the sail will be mounted um, likely permanently onto the missile deck. So what we're going to see is uh, this entire piece is all going to be solid, one piece, an opening here that will allow access to the sail once the missile deck is mounted, and then removable sections on the bottom. The missile deck will just slip on right here. I'll put a pin uh, in the front here to hold it down, and then a single bolt lining up with that seam right here that'll hold the missile deck down and then a single bolt here to hold the rear section down uh, and they'll both utilize the same bulkhead on the inside to hold it down. So this is feeling good to me, uh, nice, neat and tidy and again the really cool thing is uh, without sacrificing cosmetics uh, or functionality this will fit neatly into a transport case that will allow easy transport to and from the pond as well as uh, easy storage of the model if the owner chooses not to display it. Although why he would do that is beyond me. So let's talk about next steps. Uh, you can see this beautifully scribed outline of the sail that is going to get cut out. And then on the upper deck here, there are scribed lines for openings that allow flooding and venting of the upper hull. I'm going to extend that line forward about two and a half inches to allow access to the sail linkages. So these sections will be removed out of the hull, retaining these um, sections for strength and rigidity. So that goes all the way to the back. That's open. Cuts here, 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 and here. So that is our next step. That's how we're going to get this build started. Well, there you go, everyone. A brief, uh, short, and sweet introductory video to this build of a Submarine Works 196 scale U.S. Ohio class intercontinental ballistic missile submarine uh, put together by yours truly, the RC sub guy, Bob Martin, with the Nautilus Dry Docks. Thanks for joining me. Watch for more videos in the very near future. We'll see how this comes along, you can follow along. Uh, if you want, you can grab these kits uh, off of my website, um, build along beside me, step by step, uh, result in a beautiful boat, I'm sure. Thanks for joining me, everyone. We'll catch you next time.